Okay, good afternoon, uh, good evening, good day to all of our fellow mosaic artists. Uh, today we are doing portrait day. So uh, as of now, you have probably completed two uh, previous mosaic projects. So now we are ready to move on to portraits. So we will be working on the wonderful portrait of one of our fellow organizers, uh, student Edison Kanatsar. Uh, she's also our media ambassador for this project. So she will be interviewing all of the artists, all of the members that are contributing and uh, helping us build this beautiful mural. Uh, so today to get started, I have uh, taken Edison's portrait and I actually kind of mosaic it. Uh, so I've created lots of different lines. We're going to be working on shading and different uh, tones of the face. So that's really exciting. Uh, so we're so happy to have Edison as our model for this project. Um, for your kit, for materials, let's talk about what uh, you will have in your kit. You should already have your tile nippers. I also included a small amount of small tea, red small tea for her lips. And I found this amazing vitreous glass that has uh, dark browns, medium browns, light browns, and different shades of blue. So you're actually going to be pulling the pieces straight off of, it's on mesh on the back, um, but as we go through the project, you'll be pulling the pieces right off of the mesh, like so, and cutting them and applying them onto Edison's portrait. So uh, without further ado, there's one more item that I have included uh, in your kit. You already have your wood glue and I will be um, giving all of the artists a large wood glue this size. And when you need it refilled, just let us know, turn it back in uh, when you're done with this project and we can refill it for you. So you don't have to go and purchase those things um, on your own. Uh, one thing that I realized that was really important to add into your kit was a desk broom because as you must have already learned by now there is a lot of mess that happens a lot of um, glass shards that go flying so this is a great way to just keep your table nice and clean uh, i'm so excited to work with you on this so let's get started so the first thing you'll notice is i've taped my paper down completely and i am going to cover my entire square with plastic and I'm going to take that down as well to keep it securely in place okay and I like to make sure it's nice and flat so I'm going to kind of smooth it as I go so please make sure you are securing your plastic in place okay next time I'm going to tape down the mesh and you'll notice that I've covered all of the square. So this is the border of the portrait of Edison. So we're gonna tape that down to make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay. So before you get started, please don't forget you have a pair of safety goggles or if you wear glasses, glasses are fine as well. Please make sure you protect your eyes. I always forget as I'm going to make my very first cut and then I remember, oh, I gotta put my safety goggles on. So glasses or safety goggles, please put those on first. When I was working on my Bachelor of Arts in theater at UC Riverside, one thing my college professors always used to tell us was the eyes are the windows to the soul. And I do believe that's true in art as well. So we will begin our portraits with the eyes. In this tutorial, I have used a black penny round for the eyes. However, may I suggest using the dark, darkest brown vitreous tile on your mesh tile sheet in your kit. Uh, this will work well for her eyebrows, eyelashes, and eyes. So please check that out. So what I would actually suggest is just cutting a couple of pieces down to size, the size of her eyes. So you want to kind of cut it into a small round circle. So see, I've got one there. And let me go ahead and see if I can match the same size here. And the eyes are so important because if they're a little bit off, 
um, the portrait could really uh, not look like the person. So we wanna make sure that we're cutting our circles down to the right size. So this may take a couple of trials and errors to get it right. So let's see, that looks okay. Now this one looks a little bit bigger than this one. And this one is right on target, looks really good. So I'm gonna try to actually uh, cut this one down a little bit more, okay? Now I'm gonna go for her lashes. So this may actually require some smaller strips. So see how I cut that and it created a small strip like so for that nice lash effect, okay? So let's try a little bit more. I'm gonna take a half here and I'm gonna cut a strip across. When I cut, I always hold the other side so that it controls the cut across and I only put about a quarter of an inch into the tooth here. So I'm gonna cut that across and I get a small strip here and I'm not gonna glue anything down until I like the way it looks. So this is definitely the painstaking work of a portrait. So as you complete the eyes, eyelashes, and eyebrows, go ahead and start gluing those onto the mesh. You also want to use uh, some of the white vitreous tile uh, that I've included in your kit to create the whites of her eyes. Uh, you'll be using that really beautiful reddish magenta uh, for her lips. We're going to move on to the skin tone and we'll be using a light brown for highlight which we use under the left eyebrow and extend down to the shape of um, the bridge of her nose next i'm going to use the medium brown for contrast or shadow and that will begin above her right nostril extending above her left eyebrow and extending up to the left side of her forehead Next, I'll use the light brown again on the right side of her forehead, also under her right cheek and under her chin. I'm gonna move back to the medium brown on the right cheek and place it all the way up to her temple on the right side and I'll fill that in and I can cut these tiles as I go. For her hair, I am going to select the darkest brown vitreous tile and I will cut it into strips as I go. And I'm going to line each braid going all the way down to the border on both sides. And then what I have decided to do is to leave out her braids in the bottom right corner of the portrait. However, if you would like to add those, um, please feel free. Uh, each portrait will be a little bit different and that's beautiful. In the final step, you are going to outline the background in blue vitreous tile. You're gonna use the whole pieces along the edges and then as you move to the interior border, you'll clip along uh, the sides of her portrait. Don't forget to fill in her shirt in orange tile and please enjoy this process as much as I did. If you have any questions, reach out, but enjoy the process and I can't wait to see your work.